them bumping into chairs. The terrified elephant left through the back door and ran all the way to the second elephant's house. The second elephant lived in a brick house. It was larger than the first elephant's from the shop. It also had the door bell which the first elephant rang. Ring, ring. Hello? Who's there? It's me. I'm so scared that the mouse on the loose. Can I stay at your house, please, please? A mouse I've never seen in my first time. Very scary. I imagine that an elephant has to be very fancy when they long sharp tail and sharp claws. Sometimes I think that a mouse is going to be running me. A few minutes passed. The two elephants sat in frightened silence. Suddenly, the doorbell rang. The two elephants looked at each other in their terror group. Who could it be? I'm not The big bad mouse kept on ringing the bell, but no one answered. Finally, he grew frustrated and slipped a note under the door. It read, squeak, 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 and the big bad mouse. I'll rip up your garden, I'll tear down your house. I'll tug on your tails, I'll pull on your ears, and mighty and me has the worst on your hair. Oh no, this is terrifying. Now the big bad mouse has come to my house. Oh no, what will we do? Where will we go? He's a gigantic, raging chase mouse on the loose, running and running for our lives. The two terrified elephants stumbled out of the house, tangling up their legs and tripping over one another. They left through the back door of the house. They didn't stop running until they reached, arrived at the third elephant's house. The third elephant lived in an enormous mansion. It had a long driveway and a swimming pool. The two elephants rang the doorbell and James the butler answered. As soon as he opened the door, they ran past him, sh shouting and, ra and waving their arms wildly. Oh no! Oh my! Oh no! It's horrible! It's terrifying! The both of us do something. Call for help. Call the police. Call the army. Hold on just a second. Everyone.